This library was opened in 1957 in Harry Truman's hometown of Independence. We have all of his archival material and a great deal of things that were in his house, as well as just artifacts from his presidency, his vice presidency, his sunny years, any really all of his life and as well as from people who surrounded him. The new renovation, it's a $25 million renovation. We are putting $22 million towards the actual construction. $3 million will be sectioned off into 1 million sections. Part of that will be for public programming, educational programming, and then the library's endowment. What we'll be doing is totally revamping the galleries. So right now we have two levels of galleries, the Presidential Gallery and the Life and Times, and everything is actually going to be moved onto the top level. Gift shop, bathrooms, ticketing, everything will be on the east side, and the main entrance that we have now with the Benton Mural will actually be a part of the exhibit space. There will be uh, new artifacts. There's gonna be a lot of new interactives. Right now we just have a few interactive stations, but the kind of goal of this renovation is to make almost the entire museum an interactive space. So lots of digital components and audio visual components that people will get to experience. There will be things that are geared towards children, which is really exciting to sort of bring the history down on a level that children can interact and engage with, and of course schools as well. We have new collections that are gonna allow us to talk more about the Korean War, and we'll be talking more about Mark We'll be talking more about Bess. President Truman was the first president to have a presidential library. This was the first of the presidential library series, of which there are now 13. He really envisioned this library as just a monument to the American presidency and the American people who elect that president. We provide a lot of public programming for, for students and as well as businesses around the area. Every third grader in Independence comes here sometime in their academic year. Mayor Eileen Weir has been uh, instrumental in this project. She serves on the board of the Truman Library Institute Board of Directors and then she's worked with the design team on the new design for the renovated galleries. The legacy of President Truman's library is a great American story because we are focusing on a time period with so many important decisions made. Being able to tell that story here in Independence is a huge honor. 